Americans have been killed, and that's just over the course of about a month. For what it's worth, and when you're thinking about whether a protest like this might, you know, might wake the president up, whether it might get the president's attention a little bit to have body bags laid out in front of his hotel, for what it's worth, the president does not really seem up on the fact that 48,902 Americans have already been killed by this epidemic. We know that he's not really up on that number. We know that for sure because this was the president at the beginning of this week, on Monday of this week, talking about what he thought the U.S. death toll would end up being. Now we're going toward 50, I'm hearing, or 60,000 people. We could end up at 50. 50. We could end up at 50,000 people. That's this week. President positing that the American death toll in total could be 50,000 people. He thinks that's where we'll end up. That's what he's hearing as president. That's as bad as it'll get. Maybe 60,000 people, but could be 50,000 people. That's what he wants the American people to know the death toll might ultimately get to when this is all over. He said that on Monday. Barring some sort of miracle, the U.S. death toll is going to hit 50,000 by this weekend. Easy. But I don't know if the president knows that. And so the people uh, who are mad at the president about this response, um, people have started to pile up body bags in front of his hotel. Because maybe that at least might capture his attention. Maybe that will let him know that the real body count is apparently beyond his ken, beyond what he understands it to be. Uh, today, in a number of stories, um, a number of news